Now let's set up some UVs and materials for the horns and the sashes. So the sashes are going to be pretty straightforward. I'm actually going to just take what we've got here. Now with this one, you can see where it's basically a grid. It's just folded in a certain way. So for us, having a grid layout makes more sense than having it laid out to match this. And so let's go into UV. I'm going to do contour stretch and I'm just going to reset everything. Let's go ahead and project that. And so let's turn on our checkerboard. I'm going to grab these and I'm going to scale them down in the U direction in the V direction rather. And so we get some nice square shapes. We can unfold the center and having it laid out like this will let us use some of those procedurals. It will just make the UV layout cleaner and it will allow us to get more stuff on our UV layout. All right. And so I'm going to go ahead and delete the history. Now with this other one, I talked kind of mentioned transferring UVs, but we didn't really do it. And so I'm going to select this one, shift select this one. Let's go ahead and transfer attributes. So you can see now they both share the same map. So this one we can just select and move up. And so they're on the same map. So let's go in and make a new material. Again, doesn't matter what kind of material it is. Blend 10 and I'll call this sash. And we'll add a color to it, kind of this purple. And let's select both of these and assign them to this material. All right, so now that we have that done. Next, let's go ahead and make a new material for the horns. This one I will call horns. And let's make this kind of a teal. And then let's come in and add the horns to that. Now all we need to do is finish the UVs for the horns. So the horns, I'm going to go ahead and do an auto map. Again, this is my preference. You could also map each thing by itself. I'm going to grab the front part and this is going to be sort of my building base. And then I'm going to come in and grab the edges on both sides. Stitch, which gives us this main piece here. Okay. I'm going to cut down the middle and we can actually isolate these. Okay. So we can cut down the middle on both of these. So right like that, not down the middle of the front. We'll cut it and then we can start to just stitch these together. Again, unfold, stitch. So alternated with unfold. And then again, we'll stitch those pieces together, ending up at the seam that we created. Go up to the top here. Kind of rotate this a little bit. You can tell there's a chunk missing right here. I'll close this area up and we've got a few polygons up here that we need to add. And then we got a few seams up here. All right. So that's the front tooth. Then we just need to do the same thing for the little claws here. And we have six of them. We've already, in this case, it's already been duplicated, but uh, if you had them separated, then you can do one at a time, but I'm just going to really quickly, just think of it like a tube with one seam going down. And so you just need to decide where that seam is. Probably don't want it to be on the outside. And as you do this more and more, you'll need to unfold less frequently because you'll understand where everything is. And in your mind, you'll know, okay, that's this part of the model, let's say, as you're working with part of it in the UV layout. It'll make become more automatic in terms of knowing what part you're looking at. So let's take this part, we'll stitch. And then we'll come in on this side. And fold. Come up to the top, start stitching those together and the bottom. And then as I complete these, I'll just set them aside. So there's two of those. This one will be the main shell for this side. Kind of pull this down. Unfold that. And then we've got a big chunk missing here. 
All right. So now let's just check and make sure that's on the other side. So like I said before, we can go ahead and map these or I can just delete these. Go ahead and take this geometry and delete it. And then you can see these are all part of one object. And so I'll just go to mesh, separate, and I'll take these three, combine those. Let's delete our history. And let's go ahead and mirror this. So go ahead and mirror it to the other side. These, I'll take the UV shells, move them off and then take the, the ones that we just flipped over, go to modify and we'll flip the UVs. So instead of having to go back and re-sew all those, we'll just flip everything. Now we'll come back in here, delete the history, recombine everything, delete the history. Now we're back here, but now we have all the UVs done. So now we can take all of these shells, lay them out, I'm just going to make sure nothing's touching and you can see layout gives us a good result with these. You could go in and finesse it a little bit more and try to get more room out of it. So we could come in here and try to stick these in kind of some of these holes here, just looking at the angles and you may be able to get a little extra room out of it. So this up here, this one kind of pull up here maybe down at the bottom and then we could take this whole thing and just scale it up a little bit. All right. So the horns are already assigned. The UVs are done. Let's go ahead and turn off view selected. Since we did all, all of our splitting and combining, then we'll have to rename our object and drop it back into our group. Let's take the horns and we'll hide the horns. Let's hide the sashes. And then the next thing that we want to do is the head. So we've got the head, the wood and the padding, and that's basically it. So we will do that next.